Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is build 23493 for Windows Insider on the dev channel There's some really interesting new features coming to this build But as ever with Windows Insider they tend to phase the roll out of these features so some of them and the most interesting ones i haven't actually got yet it's frustrating i like to show them to you but they will come in future builds so when they do come i'll be able to show you then so the first thing is um copilot for windows 11 which is a bing chat powered ai more of a interface really uh to windows 11 so you can do things like turn on dark mode or um just change my display settings and that kind of thing and you do that with a chat interaction you launch it with Windows C and uh, of course Windows C does nothing on my machine here because I haven't got the feature yet um, but I'm looking forward to giving that a try when it does arrive and uh, this is, as you've seen, as I've just been showing on the screen there, a screenshot of, of what it will look like. So I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm just frustrating that I can't just uh, show you. Uh, I can't just show you it. Um, you do need the latest version of Edge, but this build already had that. Um, so if you've got these builds, I suspect you have. But you can do things like take a screenshot and summarize this website and have an, have an article in Edge or take me a picture of that kind of thing and um, it seems to be using Edge but I can't really tell so it looks interesting I really want to try it uh, but we'll have to wait until it, it, it comes out so another new feature that I, I have got is this home section in settings so previously when you opened it you just went straight to system and now you've got home and you've got these uh, tiles or uh, panels that you can use so there's a one for recommended settings there's cloud storage settings personalization and so on so these these this is new this like home section which uh, so it's really nice to be able to uh, to have that all together so I'm quite pleased to say that that is something that has arrived on my machine um, if you've got think this is um, a virtual machine but if you've got Bluetooth and Xbox you, you'll see those cards on that so it's great to be able to get a new feature as well uh, a couple of things that have changed if you restore from a backup and you add a pinned app that's not installed you see the app on there and uh, there will be the shortcuts downloaded from the store also in this build as well is there's more formats in there so Windows Explorer will um, open RAR files it will open tar files in fact let me open a, a RAR file I can show you The sound section here, if you've got quick settings in sound, you've got some more options on here. You can turn off spatial sounds, uh, you've got the mixer, the individual channels, and you can select your output device. The virtual machine doesn't pick that up, and now for some reason it won't connect through remote desktop, so I couldn't show you the, the full settings. Another change is with this, um, when you hover over the, the sort of restore button, is um, they could have some icons to show you what it would look like um, now this hasn't rolled out yet but this is a screenshot of what it would look like so it gives you an icons to note so you've got a better idea of where things are some other changes include um, they've improved the performance of file compressions with Windows Explorer you've seen compressions before with these you know, 7-zip files but they're just under the hood they fixed some issues with the Explorer crashing, they fixed some issues uh, where the details pane have the correct count and they fixed some issues with thumbnails in File Explorer. In fact, there's a few issues here. Uh, and they've also fixed the system tray as well, File Explorer crashing, uh, fixed that as well and uh, fixed the issue with search not working correctly for uh, insiders. I didn't see that issue, that was when you went in there and sort of did a search, but I didn't see those as well. There are some known issues, a couple of new ones uh, you can't get out of Windows Copilot. Windows C um, puts you into Copilot and you can't get out of it with Alt Tab. Of course, I've got Copilot to test at the moment. And there's a new issue with the Extract All maybe um, slow when you're doing uh, 7Z or RAR archive, archive. So that's the new functionality. So those are the main changes. So it's good to see the new home settings in uh, the new home page in settings, the copilot. I'm looking forward to seeing that when that eventually arrives. So, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and all that. 
I'll see you in the next one.